Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and I'll come you to our 13th lecture of creating a complete hotel management system using PHP and MySQL as our core technologies. As you know, we always do 40 minutes. I'll go ahead and start our timer. Without wasting much time, let's go straight to today's business. So if you still remember, in the previous lecture, we were able to have this landing page. So we're going to give it life. We're going to make these rooms clickable. So when you click on a room, you should be able to see its details. That's what we're going to do today. And uh, someone at least should be able to check out. Then when you finish the logic of checking out, we shall come back now and do the mastering as we finalize, just like the way you do the finishing on a house. So we shall do that when we are we'll finished the main core logic. So that must say, let's go straight into today's business. So as you see, I've already opened my code. It is here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to this home and then I'm going to put here the logic of clicking here and then you go to the main page. However, before we go to the main page, let us first be, uh, organize the public headers and footers. Because if you see this, we have not organized those public headers and footers. Everything is just in one place. All right, so let's do that public head and public footer, something like that. So admin head or dashboard head and dashboard head footer, those are the ones that will be there for what? That will be there for the logged in users whereby the public head and public footer, they're the one that will be using for the not logged in users. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, let's disconnect it to my internet. I've connected it again. Let's go ahead and proceed. All right, so what I'll do, I'll come to our project, come to a project, and then we go to where there is index.php. Index.php, it is here. So what you're going to do, we're going to remove unnecessary things. Let me go ahead and remove this uh, comment that I had put here. And uh, so after doing so, we're going to go ahead and get everything that is on top here and make it as a public header. So let's go ahead and come here and create two files. So I'll come here and say new file. I'm going to call it public-header.com php that's a public header oh, let me remind it let me rename it public header and then we're going to put here the header let's go ahead and create a new one we're going to call it public footer the php that's our footer so let's go ahead and come to the header uh, public header this is the file so let's go ahead to come to index so our header will start our header is one that will have up to this word contact. All right, that's where our header will end, I think. Okay, up to the contact here. So let's go ahead and look for contact. Let me remove this. <laughs> that shows how we stole the theme. So I'll come here and collapse that. Let's go and look for where there is contact. So I can collapse this nav head. All right, so yeah, I think that it ends here where the nav ends. So this is the slide. So the slide is a content of a home page. It's not going to be on every page. So I'll cut from here up to the top. Let me cut everything there. And then come here to public header and paste it there. All right, and paste it there. Only that this, uh, this home page, we're going to cut this home page rooms and put it back. Okay, so let me just copy this. And then I remove this one here. So the require once header will be there. I mean index. I mean require once functions.php will remain there. So let's go back to our index.php and then I paste this one. Okay. So what we shall need, we shall just require. So these are the rooms. So what you're going to need, you're going to require just the public what? The public header. So this is the public header already has the function.php, so we shall not need to add that one. So let me go ahead and be like saving us so I can get this name. So I'm going to copy that name. 
public header and then come back to our index instead of putting this i'm going to put this one public header.php so by doing so everything should be perfect let's go and refresh everything is perfect just as we expected we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed uh we proceed so i'll go ahead and uh, get the public footer we go and get the footer so the footer the footer the footer the footer so this template is all organized you can see the promo video facilities testimonials and news uh, reservation clients footer so the footer starts here so i'm going to get everything beginning here at the footer here here up to the end so i'll come and search up to end here save then come to footer file that we created which is this one and they paste there our footer so there we go we have our footer there all right start having the footer i'm going to do like Ctrl shift s so i can get the public footer i copy that and then come back to this footer and then come here and put and just inquire they require the footer just like they did here so i can just come copy this and then undo then i come in the bottom here and require the footer All right let me run these things okay i require the footer so require once footer dot php so by doing so we shall have everything perfect just as we expected our footer is there which is constant and our header is there that is constant that's beautiful so let's proceed to the single room detail screen single room or room detail screen okay room detail screen so what we shall do we shall first go and revisit again our template and see how it looks like so let's go ahead and go to hotel and then come here to where there is test stroke templates stroke hotel 2 stroke that all right that's a project so let's go ahead and see how the footer looks like i mean sorry how the room details look like so this is room detail so this is room details you see uh so this is one that you're going to do all right so the file is called uh room details.php so i'm in html so let's go ahead and put ours and call it room details.php so i'll come back here come here to our main project i can collapse everything and then go ahead and create a new file here then call it room detail dot php so that will be our room detail screen all right so i'll save after saving i'll go ahead and come back to and come back to the index and just copy this header require header and footer let's go ahead and do that require header and footer let's go ahead and do these two things so if we do so then we shall have something like that so it's called room details dot php so if I copy this, I'm going to now link it with uh, our main link here. Like if someone clicks on the room, or is it? If someone clicks on the room, they should be taken to room details.php. This here. When someone clicks on room details, they should be taken to room details.php. So all right, let's go ahead and do that. I'll just simply come to our index.php. Or is our index.php? Index.php it is here. Then we come to where there is uh, this room details, okay? Details, okay? So let's go ahead and search for that. Details here, okay? Details here, all right? I think it's that one. Uh, so where there is details link, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, details link, it is here. This is the details link, okay? So this one's going to be leading to uh, room details.php. So if I come and refresh here, you'll see it is leading. So if I come and move here, it's leading to room details.php and it is taking us there. Beautiful. But this one has only head and footer. So before we proceed, so you have to pass also the ID of this room. So I'll just simply put question mark and say ID equals. And then I go ahead and, and open question mark. And then equals to. And then I go ahead and put there the what? The room ID okay like this room id like that okay i hope you see that so if i come and refresh here if i come and refresh here i'll just simply see this so when i click here you see the room 
yeah so everything is beautiful takes me to the room and the id is there in the, in the header so let's proceed now to the room details screen so i'll come to the room details screen so room details is here so the first thing that i'll be doing here before I even proceed room details so i can just simply say room id room underscore id equals to get room i just get get id okay so i can just simply check here if it is not set so i just simply say if is not set the room id i can simply die here and say room not set some the room id not set something like that all right so if it is set i'll just simply go ahead and get the room id and then after i include now the header right I include the header okay so after doing so i can go ahead and uh, get the um, okay let's go ahead and now get the room let's go ahead and now get the room let's go ahead and good get the room um all right let's require once here let's require once require once require once uh what uh, functions.php all right so let's do that so just simply say require once uh functions the php right okay so as we have the functions uh we'll go ahead and get the room okay room equals to db find and then we pass rooms and then pass the id like this okay so you can check if equals to null and then we die that uh we die that room not found so if i come and refresh everything is beautiful so it means that room was found okay so now we have the room everything is okay so let's proceed and now put some content in here and then we fill in that content so let's go ahead and refresh here so you see we have here the slider pictures all that let's go ahead and get this content and put it in there so we will just simply come and see where it starts so shall leave only the head and footer so let's go ahead and open our room detail that the html room detail dot html just control p say room detail dot room detail dot html this one here it is in the template that i shared with you go ahead and look for this file called room detail php i mean the html all right so let's go ahead and look for where the header ends so we just simply go ahead and look for nav where the nav closes just search for this let's turn forward slash and then nav so we're seeing where the nav is ending so the nav is ending from here so it means that our room details starts from here up to the what up to the footer so i can collapse these guys until i find the footer let's collapse these guys let's collapse okay the footer is here so this is the content the content that i'm interested in this middle content because the footer i've already imported it so i'll just simply come and copy this and then proceed to proceed to room details.php in here so in between here so i'm going to put that content so i'll paste that content here so i save now if i come and refresh to our project now you'll see that we have the content of a room okay this is the content of the room so uh we're going to uh go ahead and do what and uh, and and do what let's go ahead and now uh make put the logic of this room let's go ahead and put the logic of this uh room all right so that's where now the business starts from so we're going to begin with our slides so our slides we're going to begin with these slides in a way that uh, these slides are the, if you still remember, these slides are the what? Are the gallery that we set, all right? The gallery that we set. So let's proceed. Uh, I'll just simply come to our project. Let's simply let's simply come to our project. So you see the slides are here, uh, well set, only that we need just to loop as we get these rooms. So to make sure that this room is, um, 
to make sure that uh, we have the room data not lost i can come again and call it here at this point so let me go ahead and first display what we have in the room so i can just simply come here and say echo and say printer and then go ahead and do some dump and then say printer and then uh, i die here let me die here so let's see i uh, will come and save and then come and refresh then you see that we have this data so for us right now we're interested in this gallery gallery photos so let me go ahead and put here uh gallery photos okay so if i want gallery photos i'll just simply come and put here like this gallery photos like that you see those are the photos i'm interested in so i'm going to go ahead and say for example i'll create a variable called um gallery photos and make it to be nothing at beginning so after i'm going to check if gallery photos of the room is not null so this is an independent variable so i'm going to check if this is not what is not null is not null and then i again check if str len of this gallery photo is greater than at least maybe four uh, so if it is greater than four then i know there are some there are some photos there then i'll go ahead and get those photos and say photos equals two remember when you saved them we saved them in json format so i'll just simply come and say here json decode all right json decode like this all right so i can surround this one is try and catch try and catch so this one will help us not to get an error so i go ahead and check and check if uh this one is not i mean if it's not an array then we shall know that something not to go right so if is not is not an array then we shall know that something not go right i go ahead and reset it to an empty array so that's how we get the gallery photos. So let us go ahead and, and dump here some gallery photos and this is how it looks like. So if I save, I've just dumped them here. If I save, you'll come and see that these are the gallery photos and everything is beautiful. All right. So I'll just simply remove this and remove these guys. Okay. So I'm just going to copy. Uh, where is gallery photos? Gallery photos variable. Yep, let me put it here on top. I don't know. Okay, gallery photos. I make it an empty variable. So I'll just come and cut this as it is there. Cut there as it is there. And then come here in the bottom here at this section. Uh, that's where I'll get the gallery photo. Okay. So I get the gallery photos here. So I'll just simply come here now where there is gallery photos. So I'll just first check. If the gallery photos are not there, I should not even display uh, this uh header slider okay so how shall we do that shall just simply say uh php uh so I say uh php sorry <coughs> php if count gallery photos is greater than zero so if we count gallery photos and are greater than zero that's when you shall go ahead and display the this slider it is not there then we shall not display them so if you come and refresh here you see that the gallery photo is greater than zero that's why you have the slider so what i'm going to do now i'm going to come and loop through this as i display the what as i display the image so let's go ahead and do that so i'll just simply come and say uh for each sorry let's go ahead and open here our php variable and loop so i go ahead and say for each that and then i come and display this so let me explain this it is for each gallery photos and then say photo and then i just simply put the wow it is here item b uh, bg img and then i say overlay three and then i say data backdrop uh, background i go ahead and say the photo but you know this photo it will have to put their uploads first okay so let's go ahead and say uploads stroke i think that's when it will now be able to display the image so if i save if i save you see that's how i save let me put this one i comment them there for emergency i save now if i save you see that's what you're going to have so if i go ahead and refresh 
boom, you'll see that our gallery photos have been set according to what we actually have in what? In uh, our in our what? In our um, according to what we have in our template. I mean in our in our admin portal that we said in admin portal so I can go ahead and remove these ones. So let me go ahead and put here maybe uh in our functions functions we have uh, we have this thing called URL so if you want to have like specific links you can just come and surround this one with that with a URL function so you can put there like uh, the Rio links okay the Rio links so if I come and refresh everything is perfect so you have like uh, specific links so for example this photo last photo is not showing up let's go back to admin and see admin.php then you go to our rooms yep i think everything is fine let's see we are on room number one so let's edit this room so uh do you have gallery photos here you can go ahead and set some if i want to for example let's go ahead and change some pictures and have something different for example let me put for example six photos of my thumbnail photos that i always use for practice for for tutorials so if i go ahead and put the other six photos you see just to show you that it is working so i submit so if i come to edit here you see the six photos are there now let's go ahead and check our room number one so i come here to main project and then you go to the room with id one i hope it is this one when i click then you should be able to see the photos all right so the photos are not coming let's find out why so uh let's go ahead and uh, just simply uh find out why so what if i remove this url if i remove this url so the photos are not coming let's go ahead and see why so what i'll do i'll just simply come and um die here and die with this one and you see what we have there in place so save come and refresh um are we in the room details yes just died there all right let's see why well, let's see why the photos are not coming okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to just simply come here and try to do some printer let's see echo pre-tag printer let's see why the photos are not coming so if i save so you see there is empty the array is empty uh let's go back to our admin panel and you see admin then come here to rooms then come to this first one be like editing so the photos are there this is room number one. Oh, this room number six this is room number six the most latest room is here i think yeah i've been pointing at the wrong room eh? so let's go to room number six so if i come and change this one to room number six you see the photos are there six photos so let me go ahead and try to undo everything here uh, 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 uh. we can put back even a url so if i come and refresh you'll see that um, the photos are there so it means that now the client is the one who has to make sure that the photos are matching with his what with his template right but you can see here the photos all of them they have been loaded okay all the photos have been loaded yeah. all right so we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed we proceed so we have finished working on the photos so if i come here for example to another room let's go ahead and say back to home okay so this home thing let's come to public html I mean public index and then come at index.html here. Let's go ahead and put echo sign and then say URL pass nothing. Yeah, 
let's say if I come and refresh here, this should be now clickable that takes you to home page. Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, so now let's go to the next room. For example, this room, if I come and details here, you see that the images are showing up accordingly. Okay, so uh, that is that. That is that. Let's proceed and fill in this remaining information. So, for example, here we can go ahead and put uh, the room category and then the room name here. All right. So let's begin here. I'll go ahead and say. Uh, so here, where there is a junior suit, I'm going to search for this. I'll come to public HTML. I mean, sorry. I'll come to room index.html so here where there is this junior suit i'm going to replace it with what i'm going to replace it with our um, room and then we pass the uh, the name so if i go ahead and refresh here you'll see that we have junior suit room 2 something like that okay that is there so another way we can just uh not even display the rooms we can just display the categories and when someone checks in, we we give them a drop down of rooms. That is also another possible way of uh, doing it. All right, so let's proceed. Let's proceed with what we already do. What we're already doing, so you can see the name is there. So we want to get the room category. We want to get the room category, so you can display its name there. All right. So I'll just simply come here to where there is room. This DB refined room. So you can just simply say room category. Okay, room underscore uh, category equals to db find db find. I say room categories and they say room category ID, something like that. So I can just simply check if it is null. Okay, if it is if equals to null, I can maybe go ahead and do display this room and then just. Uh, I can also do this from top there. I can just simply die here and say die and say room room category not found. Let's do it from top to avoid. Let's do it here. Okay, so and then let's redo it here just for the sake of making sure that. So that's how I get the room category. So if I come and refresh here, a room category ID, what are they saying? The undefined key. Uh, undefined key. So how did he call that? It was room category ID, I think. Room category. How do you call it? Room category ID. Is it how you called it? Let me hope so. Let me hope so. Let me hope so. Yes, we called it room category ID. So that is it, okay? So this is room. This is how we get the room category ID. So uh, we have now the room category ID. So I come here to where there is room name. So on top of it, I go ahead and put uh, PHP. I go ahead and say echo sign. And then put there the name like this, right? So come and refresh. You see that you have the room category listed top there. All right. So we proceed. We proceed. We proceed. We proceed. We proceed. So we need to put the room details here. So I'll just simply come and get this one. Just remove these two paragraphs. And replace it with room details. Like this. So if I save. Come and refresh. We have the room details. Though there are no new lines there. But we shall see how we address that as we proceed because when you edit you need to have like uh, be able to bold and also to put the new lines as well okay right, let's uh, feed in these other fields
All right, let's put other fields. For example, the check-in. Let me just get these room details from the database. Let me get this. Let me get that. Let me get that. Come on, create new variable here. Then come and get this ID. So here and check in. Go ahead and put check in text to put it there. Mm -hmm. So it is just for us, we are taking one. And also check out, come and also put there the checkout text. Check out. There we go. I come and save. Now let's go and refresh. So you see our check in text is there and check out text is there. Beautiful. Okay, we proceed to uh, we proceed to what to special instructions. Come and get that special instructions. Come and get special instructions. This one here and we put it here. Special instructions. Okay, then we go ahead and get the petty text. Pet text. So pet text, come and look for pets allowed. Come and paste it here as pets allowed. Save, come and refresh. Everything is fine. Pets are allowed. Children text. Let's go and get children text. Come and paste it here. All right, come and get children and come and dump it here so if you come and refresh the children text has been displayed there okay so i think check on check now or oh, order that's where we're going to come however before we come to that um we have here uh the person the group the wi-fi those things let's go ahead and and put them all oh, these icons I don't know how I can get more of them, but we're going to feed them. Uh, so after that, we shall come here and put the and put the what and put these similar rooms, and then this services section. Uh, we shall come for it later, and then here we shall have our what our check in calendar i mean check in what check in form okay uh check in form that one it will be on a fresh page all right we shall put on a fresh page put on a fresh page then here extra services We shall also work on them, work on them, we shall just put them there. Okay, I have nothing to do. I shall come for them at finishing. All right. All right, so, um, check availability, All right? So let's, let's first finish this. Let's place these amenities. Amenities. Mm, so here I have the person text. So come and put this one here. Uh, 
All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. What haven't we done here? Closing this. Okay, so if camera refresh here, max number of people, four persons. Okay, Wi-Fi. So here, Wi-Fi. We just simply come and say. Let me see if we put here. Strike through. All right. So what you're going to do, we're going to go ahead and say if So come here, and let me choose um, amenities Wi-Fi equals to yes. Just say Wi-Fi else. Just put here maybe S yes and say no Wi-Fi. Right? So if I come and refresh here. No Wi-Fi. Something like that. I wanted to see here some more icons. Flat some CSS icon list. I wanted to see where the names are. I think they are here. Uh -huh. I think the names are here. So if you need icons can come and search them here the icon names yep yeah the icon names so you can find them here the names that you are using okay so just come here to flood some stroke free icons yep so you can be able to search for any icon that you want here Okay, so for example, let's go ahead and so this next thing is what is parking. Okay, so is parking already there? Uh, parking, parking, parking. So I can come and search here for uh, parking. So can get this. So it's CSS name. Let's see if they have the CSS name. Click there. So then CSS, let's come here to interface icons. So these are the interface icons. So it's CSS name here. Yep, I think that's it. Backing cycle. I don't know whether this is the right one okay so let's first focus on this let's put parking let's first focus we can come on icons later uh so uh let's go ahead and check for parking That is parking. Come and refresh. 
so no parking something like that however the icons will i'll find out which names we have here flat some icons I was expecting to get its name here. I'm seeing SVG. All right, so we can do the rest. See if breakfast is there. Okay, so no breakfast. Let's see towels. That is swimming pool. All right. Let's, uh, yep. So you can do uh, the rest from there. You can do the rest from there. So in the next lecture, we shall now work on the placing of the orders, the checkout. We shall also work on these related rooms. We will speak here the related rooms, and then also we shall work on so the extra services. So let's meet in the next lecture and have a nice day you can finish these remaining ones on your own and also remember to subscribe on my youtube channel so let's meet in the next lecture we are going to take this whole thing to the what to the next level goodbye and see you tomorrow